Hello YouTube, Frosted Fur here doing a little bragging about my uh, bush survival kit here. First thing on the outside of the bag is a water bottle. Inside is its own micro filter, that way you don't have to carry larger kits or larger filters. It's good to fill anywhere and go. On the top, 50 feet of rope on a quick release. Bandana, protect yourself from the sun, filter water, um, collect berries, multiple use. Uh, flashlight with two brightnesses and so you don't have to pack batteries, crank on the side. It also has a radio and a personal alarm. Doubt I'll be using that very much. Flashlight's handy beyond that. In a plastic bag, it's not exactly waterproof, but it's water resistant to a point. Large orange garbage bag, useful for many things carrying water, picking berries, food, shelter, poncho, rain jacket. Set of work gloves. Pack of gum, keep your spirits up. Toilet paper. It's a must. More water and a foil pouch. This is what's in here. multiples of everything. A uh, small torch, good for lighting fires in the rain, repairs on a vehicle, a couple hundred uses for that. Small fishing kit, bunch of hooks, different designs, different sizes. Uh, pencils, paper, marker, it's always handy to have for drawing a map for yourself or for the people trying to find you. Hey, I went this way, come find me. Burn ointment. Small first aid kit with a rain poncho, tape, scissors, band-aids, gauze pads. That's one of my first aid kits. Slingshot. And slingshot ammo. A uh, small game, grouse, rabbits, squirrels, groundhogs. If you're lost in the woods, anything's good to eat. In this kit, which is normally on my belt when I'm in the woods, pocket chainsaw. Got some handles on it. Unrolls. This is for taking care of uh, breaking down a log for firewood, collecting tree branches, large trails, clearing trail. All right. Flare pen, flares, and bear bangers. When it comes to shooting these, fire them directly in the air, not towards a bear. You'll have something very large, angry, and growly running towards you. Another bear scare device. Small uh, foil, shelter, foil blanket, uh, emergency heat shelter. This little straw contains a filter on the end. This is a little big, is a little brother of this one. Same technology in here as is in here. It's good. This one you can pull right out of a stagnant pond. There's a video of certain people sucking out of a puddle with this thing. More paper, waterproof paper. energy drinks. You don't know how long you're going, how far you have to go, sometimes you just have to keep yourself awake. It's also good when you're feeling cold and lethargic. Dust filter. Assortment of lighters. Burn ointment. And a self-heating bag, good for heating anything in a pouch or a can. 
anything sealed in plastic. Food ration. Enough to keep one person alive for one day. It's not very tasty. Small axe. Sharp, light, good for clearing brush. Uh, splitting small wood. Not for anything heroic or epic. Small roll of duct tape. Alcohol gel, good for cleaning wounds, hands, starting fires. Smaller breakaway kit. Containing again. Backup first aid kit, burn ointment, suture kit, also as a useful fishing tackle. Gauze pads. Gloves and band-aids. Lighter. One knife, a little Swiss army knife. Pencil for writing on the paper. Useful kindling as well. Bit of green tea. Uh, tea and apple drink. Uh, also coffee whitener, sugar. A couple of cigarettes. I don't smoke. I know people who do. They get cranky with other tobacco. Magnesium fire striker. Very handy to have out in the bush. K bar, multi purpose knife, digging tool, trenching tool, can opener, bushwhacker, multi use. Epinephrine, I'm allergic to bee stings and know other people with allergies. Light sticks in case you don't want to light a fire or hanging in a tent perhaps. Small can of pepper spray. Compass. Extra roll of gauze. Tarp. Uh, ground sheet. Uh, tent. Shelter. Lean to. Many uses. Very good thing to have. There's also some zip ties in the bag for hanging it off the trees. Pouch for carrying water. Emergency hand warmer couple of candles bug spray and afterbite and finally way down at the very bottom of the kit is a deck of cards I run out of matches my lighters fail run out of food or fuel everything's gone sideways I'm going to sit down and pull out this deck of cards. As soon as I start playing a game of solitaire, somebody's going to walk up behind me, tap me on the shoulder and say, Um, hey, uh, that card goes over there, by the way. And everything should work out just fine. Any questions can be answered in the commentary. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.